Our player in profile this week on Fever TV is our dynamic mid-quarter, Verity Simmons. Vez, you've just hit the training track for the first time since returning from New Zealand. How's everybody feeling after what was a, a long trip? It was a massive trip, um, but a damn good one at that. Um, everyone's feeling pretty great. We're happy to be back at training, feeling fresh. We've done a lot of recovery and we're just looking to have a nice, solid week this week. How do you like the away trips? Because it was 12 consecutive days on the road. I know some players really love them and others struggle being away from home for that long. How do you find the away trips? I should say that I struggle with Nathan not seeing him, but to be honest, I really love it. Um, I love being with the girls and it was two weeks we had some great apartments that we stayed in. Everyone got in and cooked together. We had a few cooking nights and just made it, you know, a, a really loving and happy trip. And to play netball and train every day is just a dream. So, It's already a really close-knit group, but do you think having a, a trip away like that in the middle of your season only solidifies that bond? Definitely. You know, like we come back bigger and stronger and to have two and a half weeks, you really get to know someone who, you, who your roomie is and outside hanging out, grabbing coffees and things and studying together, you really understand and you get to know people so much better. We're reaching the midpoint of the season now. How have you seen it you know, since returning to the fever? How do you think we've gone in the, in the early stages of 2016? I think we've built. Um, each game we've built, you know, we've had two losses, which was unfortunate, but each game I've seen us progress, which is what you want to see throughout a season. We're almost halfway now. Um, start kicking in and hopefully get some more wins on. Now, you were very popular this week in the media landscape because you're coming up against mm -hmm. your old team in, in the Queensland Firebirds. What do you looking forward to most in terms of coming up against some not just some quality players but some some friends as well yeah I've got some really good mates in the birdies and they're just such a classy side so I'm just looking forward to our team actually getting out and playing the team that is actually undefeated this year and hoping to beat them so Stace actually said that during this week in, yesterday in fact she said that playing against the, the best in the competition the benchmark is, is a challenge that as players as, as her as a coach as we as a club all relish Definitely. I mean, to play against the best in the comp is exactly what you want. It makes us rise, it makes us develop, makes us grow, and we're planning to take that out. We're very confident with this game. They got some tall timber up at the front uh, between Gretel Tippett and, of course, Romelda Aiken, who's been in sensational form. Three games as MVP on the trot. Uh, another big test for Ape and, and Courts, who've been doing some great jobs against some international shooters throughout this season. Their timbers are quite tall, yep, um, but we've got a good game plan and we trust in that. We trust in the team and our defence and I'm sure they'll get out there and handle it. With the birds though, it's not just a case of trying to eliminate one or two players at the top end because they're strong right across the court, aren't they? So it's going to be that full court defensive pressure that we were getting a bit of a reputation for in the early rounds is going to need to be back again this weekend. Yeah, exactly. Our defensive end is only as good as our attacking end, so we've really got to put the pressure on them to help out them girls out down there. Busy for yourself personally, the, the move back to Perth, how have you found it? Because obviously you, you created a lot of waves, you had your start here in Fever before moving across to, to the Firebirds and the opportunity to come home was really nice for you both on court and off it as well. So how have you enjoyed it since coming back to the West Coast? Loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, of course I'm missing the family back at home but to be here with Nath is just great and it almost just feels like home. I've got family here, I've got some good friends and the girls are absolutely amazing. So the beach is here, it's happy days. <laughs> What have you noticed, uh, maybe the biggest difference between your first in at Fever and, uh, and the changes since returning this year? Um, I was always told to mature, so I've you know really been trying to work on that. And I think the older as you get kind of thing, your game develops, you, you do mature on and off court. And I think I'm trying to you know find my feet with that a bit more. Um, but the club itself has just developed so much since I've been here. And we're just, we're so much more professional now than what we used to be. And it's just great to see that and we're still on the rise. You mentioned the beach. It's a big part of your life away from netball. You love getting down there. Also do a fair bit at Northcott Surf Life Saving and getting out on the board. How important is the, the beach in terms of having a balance in your life? That's, that's, that's exactly it. We've got to have that balance. You know, like I get a bit crazy if I don't have that. And um, the beach just almost settles you down a little bit and just regroup, refresh and get out and do something different apart from being in here and training every day. And speaking of off-court, we had uh, KB, Bevy, as our player in profile a few weeks ago. And, of yep. course, her and Erin have these alter egos away from the court. And they're, they're gangster side of themselves. And, and KB said that you yourself have been a, a welcome addition, maybe even turn it into a musical trio. Yeah, it's, um, look, it's a big honour. Um, it's a privilege for me to be in this position, um, to join their little crew. So we're still working on my gangster name, really got to um, step it up. We've got White Honey and Ice Chocolate, so I've got to think of something very good. Maybe that's something the fans can do is help a sister out and um, try and pick up a gangster name for me. Versi, just finally, an important couple of weeks. We get the, the Birds this weekend and then our first Perth Arena game next against the Melbourne Vixens. What's your message for all the Fever fans out there as we head into an important fortnight before the bye? It's a massive fortnight for us. Um, we've got Firebirds this week. We really need your support for it. And Vixens next week, I want to see that arena absolutely packed and jamming for us. So please come along and support us. 
Vezzy, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you as our player and profile this week. Can't wait to see you out there against your old team on the weekend. Thanking you. Thanks very much.